All right, guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And my God, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the, uh, the Chun Li debacle and why so few of us trust these pop culture media outlets anymore. I'm sure you guys have already heard about it. I retweeted this yesterday that Jezebel had a headline uh, Who Forgot to Invite Chun Li to the Mortal Kombat movie trailer? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a joke. Yeah, you and Squicking had both seen it. I didn't even see it because I wasn't on much yesterday. I was really busy. You and Squicking had both seen it, and you guys both ignored it because you thought that someone was just, oh, they're just doing it for kicks and giggles. I thought it was a joke. I thought, wow, this is like uh, this is like the Babylon Bee. Somebody photoshopped a ridiculous headline to to cash in on the uh, the social media currency of Mortal Kombat because the new trailer dropped, right? And I'm like, this is hilarious. It came from, um, I saw it with uh, Sophia Narwitz, who is a, a gaming journalist, posted, I thought it was fake. I thought it was like, ha, 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 ha. Can you imagine a pop culture journalist or gaming journo current year writing a headline this stupid? And they fucking wrote a headline that yeah, stupid. as it turned out, it was not a joke. It's not a joke. They really um, are that dumb. Now, before we get into it too much, I'm going to mention a couple things. One, uh, I'm not limited on this video because apparently I broke the limiter last time. And her limit break. You cannot limit me. He's limit you break. cannot put a limit on me. It just doesn't work. You should know that by now. Yeah, I actually, for those of you, it's it's an ongoing joke. I used to have a button, but I actually put a, a, a limiter on the mic. The problem is, is we have the old mics now. And Geeky, when she gets angry in the last couple videos, she sounded like a robot. Because the limiter would kick in and well, I'm sure they'll say it's because I'm a Russian bot, but you know. There you go. She's not um, real. Yeah. Anyway, before we get into this, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 177,000 mm -hmm. subs. Uh, hoping for 200,000 soon. Your support means a lot. A lot of people watch us that don't read websites like Jezebel because of things like this. Uh, but this is the most egregious. This has to be the most egregious stupid headline I've ever seen. What's funny to me is this just proves what we're talking about. We keep telling you that they they can't stand, they go looking for things to be triggered by, to be angry about. And this just proves it. It's like the 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 trailer came out and the, their takeaway was, of course, it's a white woman. And it's like, I, I mean, it's like they were looking for things to be mad about. So they get mad about something that's not even the not even an accurate thing to be mad about. And they didn't take it down either. No, that's what got me about this. I'm like, well, see, because Matt, Matt Moylan, uh, Matt, who's actually the uh, creative director over Udon, which publishes many comics about Chun-Li, said that uh, this has to be a joke. I'm sorry. I was reading Hordak's comment, and it's just, I'm not reading it out loud. Hordak's comment. Oh, yeah. that was beautiful. Uh, but anyway. Ma but Matt thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. I think I saw it because he retweeted it. Uh, I thought it was a joke. I'm like, this is hilarious because can you imagine one of these pop culture media outlets with their journalists that are frankly not oh, fans? Uh, did she have a blue check? I don't know. I'm not even going to bother. I'm like, that. you know, because they keep saying that certain people get blue checks, other people don't. So Yeah, so here's, here's the kicker. This is funny. They got massively called out, massively flamed, and you go all the way to the bottom. And uh, they said, yeah, we, we update. Update, 4.39 p.m. yesterday. Jezebel has discovered the answer to our question about Chun-Li's erasure, and it's that Chun-Li is not part of the Mortal Kombat megaverse. Wow. Wow. That's, that's how we, that's what everything, we're, no, they, they said it like what, that, we're saying it like, wow. Because, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, look, this is everything. This is everything. This is why we, slam these journalists because so many of them are not even remotely they're interested in they're activists pretending to be pop culture yeah they're things. not even interested chun li is only one of the most iconic female video game characters of all time I, the only street fighter character that's potentially more popular than chun li would be ryu you know but even then like they would probably think uh, you know, Ryu was from from Mortal Kombat or Tekken or something. Who the hell knows? Chen Li played the movie by uh, Ming Na Wen, who did Mulan and The Mandalorian. She, she was, she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me it was a Tuesday. I forgot. I forgot all about that. I didn't forget because I always liked her. She's yeah. I've liked her for a long time. Uh, spinning bird kick. All right. So everybody taking Jezebel to task, wondering where Chun Li is, why she's been erased from Mortal Kombat. It, it's just, it's just funny. <laughs> like I mean. <laughs> What what is the tagline for Jezebel? Like, are they saying they're pop culture? 
Uh, they do cover pop culture. They're part of... Okay, so here's the thing. They oh, have, yeah, they're the ones that got bought out. Yeah. They have no excuse. Jezebel is part of the same... It's Gizmodo. They're yeah. part of the same network as the AV Club and IO9. And they Kotaku. And Kotaku. Yes. Jezebel, part of... Part of Gizmodo, supposedly feminist website. Jezebel, part of Gizmodo, uh, also is part of the uh, Kotaku network here, io9, and uh, the AV Club, and The Onion. I thought this was maybe an Onion-type article, but it's not. They really are that dumb. They I'm sorry. I'm just really, I'm really are that dumb. in my head because basically what we've been saying is that these people... These journalists in quotes, you can't see my quotes, uh, the journalists, um, they go around and they're just looking for something to be pissed about. Like these people are like, they, anything comes out, they're trying to find the angle they can spin it that why it's offensive in any way, shape or form and why it's against women or against this minority or that minority or whatever. Sure. They're literally, that, that's what, that, this proves it. I mean, they jumped the gun and ran with this. Because, oh, it's racist. Of course, sure it has a white woman in it, but it's racist against Asians. For fuck's sake. All Even right. though there was a bunch of Asian characters in it. But, you uh, know. Mostly Asian characters, I know, right? actually. Uh, and uh, a prominent what black man. What did they say exactly? Do we have the article pulled up? Yeah, well, here's... Okay, so, uh, yeah, we do have it pulled up. It's still out there. I thought they would take it down. Um, they're they're praising the trailer. Um, LRM Online actually roasted them, too. They said they can't believe they got it wrong. This is what they said. Uh, being the astute film critic I am. That's what they said on the original article. Yes. Being the astute film critic that I am, I immediately clocked a glaring error in the film. Okay, I'll translate. Okay. I'm going to translate for feminist bitch. Um, I, I watch a lot of films and they immediately, you know, didn't put the right kind of women in this movie. Continue. Where in all the realms is Chun-Li? Translation. Where the fuck is Chun-Li? Sorry, Mom. If there's a battle for the fate of Earth, then we don't need all the greatest warriors gathered, which would include Chun-Li and her spinning bird kick that can knock a man's head clean off. Translation. If the Earth's in trouble, we, need, we of course, need women. It, women are going to save us, Chun-Li especially, because her spinning bird kick can knock a, head, so a, a man's head. Because we only would kick a man clear off. Yeah, well, it's easy because men don't have anything in their heads. You can you can kick it clean off. Right, it's hollow. Sounds like a pretty big plot hole to me that the ultimate street fight is supposed to be won by a ragtag team helm, helmed by Sonya Blade. No offense to the Sonya stands. Translation, uh, I'm going to take offense because she's a white woman and I'm going to claim that there's some kind of uh, racism here when there is none. And uh, I'm just going to put this out there because, you know, Chun-Li obviously could kick Sonya Blade's ass because, you know. She has so many times in, in Mortal Kombat. So, uh, you know, some people are like, is it clickbait? Is it joke or satire? Is it an honest mistake? I, I... Th is this, 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 honest mistake, you double check. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it, are they going, are they going Babylon B with it and being like, oh my God, guys. So like, I would whereas... think that until they put a correction. Yeah. And That's what I would have thought. I'd be like, oh, we were just kidding. And why was it on, you know, why wasn't it not marked as satire, if that's the case? Or was it marked as satire? I don't think it was. Yeah, it wasn't marked satire. Something like that, you have to mark it, specifically mark it satire, or the site has to be known for satire. Jezebel, however, is sadly it's serious. Not, okay, wait. About it's, okay. Jezebel is known as satire by most of the world, but that's serious in their intent. Um, they, they might be serious, but everybody else thinks they're a joke. Um, the reason I left it up, though, I can tell you, is because they were getting a shit ton of hit, hits on it, and they made a they made a mistake. We put a correction on it, but they still want to keep getting a shit ton of hits. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So, bounding in the comics said that they're trying to uh, trying to backpedal and saying that after getting called out for their idiocy, Jezebel tries to play off their Chun Li gaff as a joke. They're trying to say it was a joke. It was just a joke, guys. Oh, is that why they changed it to supposedly feminist at the top? Because I wondered because it just usually yeah. Up. Okay, I wondered about that. Um. You know, we had a lot of people calling them out, obviously. I mean, again, we had, you know, Matt Moylan, who I didn't think anything of it. I retweeted. The guy's a creative director at Udon. I'm like, he would probably... Everybody thought... Well, you guys thought it was too joke. stupid to be real. I didn't see it. Uh, like I said, people tagged me in it, but I was really... I was all over the place yesterday, and I wasn't able to look at a lot of that stuff. So I missed it until today. And then as soon as I saw it, I started laughing. I was like, wait, what? You know? Uh, you think that somebody who claims to have a master's degree from video game school in their bio... Does, does she say that? Do they? Oh let's, my God, are go you see. serious? Let's go see. Uh, master. Uh, so is this one big uh, troll Twitter bio? There we go. We blocked? No. Staff writer Jezebel, master's degree from video did game she, school. Did she put it up though after the fact as a joke? I'm wondering. 
I mean, that might be the case. I don't know when they changed it. I mean, if they just, if it was always been like that, okay, you know, what the heck? If if it just was changed, then they just did it smart ass. I thought it was a joke. I mean, maybe it is a joke, but I thought it was a joke. I didn't even pay any attention to it. I don't understand why they put the correction the way they did if it was a joke. They should have just said, hey, psych, April Fool's. Update, this was a joke, just FYI. That would have been the thing to do. I, I don't know. Did um, they say it in the comments, maybe? I don't... Well, we'll go check their comments here. Um, but yeah, following the backlash, they would post an update shortly after publication, writing Jezebel has discovered the answer to our question about Chun-Li's erasure. So Chun-Li is not part of the MK Megaverse. Wow. Uh, the obvious tone is they're trying to play off their stupidity as a joke. Really? Is, I don't think that was obvious tone. The, okay. the rest of the article was actually pretty serious. They were like, this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But hey, why isn't Chun-Li in the trailer? You know, uh, not only would Jezebel try to play it off as a joke, but Heather Alexandra, known for injecting identity politics into video game journalism, would also attempt to come to the oh, publication's surprise. defense. Uh, she wrote on Twitter, the messed up thing with some gamers who still want to do the whole my hobby is my castle thing is that they don't realize that most of the shit they get precious about has been around for like 40 years and is obscure. No, it's not obscure. That's the point. Everybody knows who the fuck Chun-Li is, where she came from. Everybody. Uh, well, yeah, most you know, I really hate it. I really hate it though when I, when people are talking about the new Shira series and they keep they keep forgetting to mention about you know the other princesses of power like Amethyst and Garnet and Pearl and you know and <laughs> and you know and um and how they were they they joined forces with uh with Keith and them from Voltron mm. you know to to make you know and Thundercats you know the Thundercats from the Thundercats, Thundercats were, were yeah. um because the gems turn into Thundercats I'm pretty sure they don't understand why you know people get yeah. so don't know don't are aren't more aware of these things yeah right uh so Heather Heather goes on to say this is a Jezebel shit post the reason that so many gamers are taking the bait is because they want to feel like culture wars this isn't that it's because it was absolutely stupid and most people said they thought it was it was a joke. Because no one's this dumb. So, yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, and again, as as a... a uh, it's, like, it's part of the bit. You know what? Bullshit. Basically, there, if it is, they're just going to use this as, oh, well, we were just kidding every time they get called out for something. Yeah. I I thought it was a joke because I didn't think anybody could be that dumb. Yeah, I know. You and you and Squid King both said you thought I, it was I, a I, joke. I didn't even know about the, today. You're like, why didn't you tell me about this? This is ridiculous. I'm like, because it's too stupid to be real. Yeah, and that's, what, that's the first thing Squid King said, too. Yeah, Squid King's like, too- oh, I saw it yesterday. He's like, I thought it was just that they were just kidding. He's Because he's like, no one's that dumb. Um, you know, and now they're like, no, they're not that dumb. They're part of the joke. And it might have been a joke. It just seems an awfully odd way of handling it if it was if it was a, a yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, it But, does. you know, it could be. Um, I'm just I'm just so oh tired. But, you know, here's the thing. People are going to believe Jezebel next time. Because how do you know every article they're posting isn't just a joke? Yeah. You know, they're posting it as a serious article, but oh, ha, ha, it was a joke. Well, then are all their other articles jokes? Are they a parody site now? Are they the new Onion? Should no one listen to anything they have to say because they're just pulling your leg? So my my feeling on this, let's go out to the comments here. Um, I can never tell. Yeah, this person's like, I can never tell when Jezebel's making jokes. Um, is this facetious? Just dumb? I utterly fail to understand the point of the article. I also really struggle with it. Yeah, because if it's a joke, it's, Everybody said they it's not it a very true. good one. It's not a very clever one. At least with, with a place like The Onion or Babylon B, it's usually you know, biting satire. It's clear it's a joke and it's funny because, haha, it's true or it's a true misconception or something. But In now, this case, it just looks dumb. It yeah, looks like you're you just look dumb. dumb. And now people are going to think you don't know what you're talking about. And like I said, if this is a joke, what other posts are jokes? Or are they going to say are jokes if they get backlash? <laughs> I'm glad you updated. Chun Li is from Tekken 3. <laughs> uh, she's from Tekken 3. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, Scarlett Johansson wasn't available <laughs> for, for Chun Lee. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this isn't doing them any favors. The, these websites, you know, Jezebel, Mary Sue, Polygon, even, you know, they've got a reputation for hiring journalists talking about pop culture that literally know nothing about, even the bare minimum. Or if they do, they're very hypocritical. Yeah. Like you, like the one, the one chick is always going on about, you know, cancel culture and stuff, not, you know, not being real, but they cancel people more than anyone. Or, hey man, stop t- giving me hot takes on Captain Marvel is going on how fans should be allowed to have the opinions fans should have when it came to what she liked, like Game of Thrones. So it, it, the hypocrisy is so strong with them that it's ridiculous and everybody kind of just laughs laughs at them and now jezebel has gotten to the place where okay so they're another onion site yeah pretty much uh, that's what they're now they're gonna be from now on because oh what we didn't screw up we were kidding 
So here's here's my uh, my tinfoil theory, hat theory, um, because we know that Gizmodo has been laying a lot of people off. We know they've been consolidating the visions. They took IO9 and they consolidated need a lot of hits into Gizmodo. Yeah, I think one, they need a lot of hits, even if it's satire. People are going to be like, oh, I got to check this out because it just looks too stupid to be true. And they probably well, that's got... That's why they didn't take it down. Yeah, they probably got... Yeah, that's why they didn't take it down. Because most most news outlets, if they were called out like this, they would be like, oh, shit. They'd you know put a retraction up. They'd take it down, change the headline, alter like it some way. Like they did with the lovely one for... Uh, what was it? Memorial Day and... and oh, the Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, over on Comic Book Resources. Yeah, there would be changes, not just an oopsie doopsie. Yeah, I... I I'm with you. I think this whole thing was. It, 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 I think no one's as stupid. I they. I, it could be a mistake, but I think they did it on purpose. And I think it'll be like, oh my gosh, Gizmodo, look at all the hits we got. Please don't cancel more of us. Exactly, because Io9 is actually the the pop culture site for oh, this. Was it Io9? Yeah, Io9. Okay, I was say Okay, Io9. No, no, no. Io9 got, got got Gizmodo. I can't keep track. Gizmodo it was or Io9 is part of Gizmodo, but they got absorbed into Gizmodo. It's They're like not playing Hungry Hungry yeah. Hippos, and I never know. Well, that's what I'm saying. They don't, who? they don't even uh, they don't even have their own website anymore. So my again to your point here, I think they're hurting for views. They're hurting for cash. Gizmodo might be giving them an ultimatum like you need to bring the views and bring the ad revenue, or we're not even going to have a separate Jezbel site. You guys can come over to Gizmodo. I think eventually at the end of it, it's just going to be Gizmodo as a site with pop culture and feminist articles and gaming articles and all that. Um, and I think the, they're not going to keep it as a separate entity. Yeah, it's it's just that's I think what the whole thing's about. I'm sorry, I was I was on their feminist thing, and I'm sitting here thinking like, no, Clownfish TV, an actual classical feminist site where we believe in actual feminism by this definition, not the bastardized version it has become. Yeah, we believe that uh, geeky is always right. Um, and no, if, not, if I, not what I said. if I argue, I get no, a boot to the face. That would make you no. See, that would make us like Jezebel. That would make us, and that would make us a a, a intersectional, bastardized feminism. Um, and that's not what I, I believe in. So that's not true. So we gotta wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, I think we need to. Uh, whether or not it was a joke, it didn't do them any favors. It just made mm -hmm. them look very, very stupid. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't think. I'm but I'm sure there. it worked to what they wanted. I'm sure they got a lot of hits. Over I'm sure it. they got a lot of hits. Uh, maybe they'll live another day. Because they're they're counting on people, and it's not just men. There were a lot of women who were calling it out. Also, mm. counting on people to to come running to 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 correct them, and so they can get lots of hits. And then they had the one woman go on Twitter and basically say it's all because of stupid men, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like that's not what, that's that's not what happened. But okay. <sighs> okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.